So joining us now to give an insider perspective on the race to the presidency is former presidential candidate Tokwe Fasua. Uh, good evening and welcome to Newsnight. So we hear people declaring for 2023 from Governor Yaya Bello and others who are declaring intention on behalf of Ashwa Jubala Tinumbu declaring for 2023 and as early as 2019 this has been going on with seen posters everywhere. What does it really take to throw one's hat into the ring? You've been there before. Well, I think the first thing it takes is uh, for you to know that you are, are qualified uh, as per the constitution of the country and to have a conviction to want to try, you know. Uh, whether the ambition will make sense or not is a different ball game. but um, uh, basically anyone that actually has um, that conviction to want to try, to want to serve the country, uh, well, that's debatable whether that's what we're going there for. But uh, so long as they're qualified constitutionally, uh, anybody can declare, declare that they want to run. Uh, the second thing would then be, okay, on what platform are you running? Um, because a number of people would aspire, but will never get a platform. Uh, maybe they've never created a platform or they don't have the uh, wherewithal to get on any platform. Do you join those who believe that uh, this politicking, you know, ahead of 2023 is too early, really? And a, uh, probably, do you think it's sort of like a distraction to governance? Not at all, not at all. So long as... Um, uh, for example, now, I think in this instance, the president, the sitting president is not running, so we can't say he's distracted from doing his work. Um, he's a second-time president, he's a, he's a lame duck president, if you call it that. Um, but whoever is going to want to run in 20, 2023 need, needs to have started now. Um, because, again, one of the things you're going to need, especially in this country, given the uh, level of uh, illiteracy and uh, poverty and so on, uh, one critical thing you need is actually that name recognition, that facial recognition. People have to know you. They want to know you. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the majority of voters would would rather vote for who they know, who have they, they've been hearing about. In the in 2019, in the build up to 2019, when I contested and traveled around the country, I got to places where I saw that wow. Um, they probably didn't know anybody apart from Buhari. I got to some places in the Northeast where they didn't even know much about Atiku. Uh, all they knew was Buhari. And if you look at Buhari, look at um, Obasanjo, those, those two gentlemen have the name recognition. They've been around for a bit. They have that notoriety factor. Uh, and it was easy for them to be elected across the country. Uh, Yaradua came in as a consensus on the platform of uh, PDP and equally uh, Jonathan. That was what happened. Um, you know. So uh, whoever is going to want to uh, take out some of these guys that have been around for a bit, uh, you have to be strong and you have to be around and you have to have the name recognition. Therefore, it's never too early for you to start um, um, you know, expressing your opinion and expressing your intention to run for president in Nigeria. In terms of money, though, when you look at how much we keep spending for anybody to become president, what kind of numbers come to your mind? You know what your budget was when you contested, yeah. but definitely no. that budget was not anywhere near the no, kind no of way. that the likes of uh, <laughs> President Mohamed Buhari was oh, yeah. spent. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I mean... I Ours was an experiment. Um, mine was an experiment. Um, I must tell you how, how much did I have, you know. Um, and of course, I was running basically uh, majorly on my own steam. Um, and of course, a few people were magnanimous enough to say, okay, take this, you know, 100,000, 200 here and there. Well, we're talking about billions here because, I mean, what do you need the money for? Uh, in fact, today, earlier today, I was listening to a, a documentary. Um, even from the U.S. and a lady was speaking and she said that our dad was one of the world leaders in, I think, Philadelphia and that there's a point at which they have to take money out and start giving people around that whoever emerges on the Republican Party or the Democratic Party in the United States till tomorrow must have emerged on a corrupt um, a mandate before they even go into the re election and so on. So uh, it's not only a Nigerian issue. So the kind of money you are going to be first of all, how do you get that nomination? In, in the two big parties we have in Nigeria, the kind of 
uh, payouts you need to make uh, to big men in the party and big women, perhaps, you know, it's uh, something else. Then you now begin to talk about each state. You now begin to talk about organizing rallies, uh, giving people money to go and mobilize and so on. Therefore, we seem to be in a bind. We're talking about um, if you don't have anything in the region of a trillion naira, you may not actually make the kind of map that will shake the country. Um, you know, if you run the current model, if you run a, a, a model that was a bit more honest, um, you still have to spend a, a model whereby you, you know that if you give someone, you know, a million naira, they could do the work of 10 million that, you know, that have done for you in any, any of these big parties. You will still need at least, uh, I must tell you, you need at least uh, 10 billion to, to make an impact in this country in the election. So it's a lot of money we're talking about now. Who's going to be ready to invest that kind of money? In fact, some of the guys that ran in 2019 with me, a few of them, you know, who were technocrats, they spent quite a bit of money. I mean, some of them were able to raise maybe 500 million, close to a billion, which they spent. And of course, if you're going to be running on any of the uh, smaller parties, that means you must build from the scratch. And of course, you're going to be running with against parties like PDP and APC who have, uh, if you like, quote and unquote, direct access to patronage uh, and sometimes direct access to the coffers of state governments and, if you like, the federal government, uh, the truly parastatals and so on. So there's a lot of money. Um, however, I think it's still something that um, new people should continue to contemplate and try to see. Uh, you never know, maybe, maybe the big guys will make a sleep at some point in time and someone new can emerge. Tokwe, if I'm a person who is considering to run in 2023, but with this your breakdown now, I'm worried, <laughs> honestly, because we see a lot of challenges, especially for technocrats and even women in politics. They don't have this yeah. war chest that we're talking about here. So moving forward, what more can be done, especially from the party level, to ensure that we see more people who are competent run for this office without spending as much as you have just told us? Well, um, I, I think what needs to be done will not be only at the party level. Um, um, you know, first of all, let me quickly reel out about five things on, 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 the, on the macro level. Uh, first of all, we, we, if, we were, if we were wise, we would actually put whichever government is there at every point in time under pressure to, to continue with mass education of our people, to continue with better governance and ensure that poverty level is reduced. Because, you know, even people like Plato and Aristotle, they actually saw the folly of democracy even way back then and they said that look democracy can only work in, a, in any country or society where you know where people are enlightened because the the the, the, the mere act of electing people is an enlightened act to take is it means that you have to be strong in analysis and of course uh poor people uh, uneducated people are not very strong in that analysis. They, they are more interested in, you know, what they call in my Ondo state, uh, the, the Boko Sebe. Uh, someone gives you 5,000 naira to cook a pot of stew for two, two or three days and that's it. Oh, you said the guy's a nice man. He's a great man. And those who can't spend, you, you, you know, you badmouth them and so on. And of course, at the end of the day, all you have is that uh, pot of soup for the next four years or eight years as the case may be. So mass education. Also, um, we need to actually deepen anti-corruption agents I um, heard uh, you guys speaking about that at length, I think with uh, Dr. Sam Amadi, uh, Professor Sam Amadi, uh, you know, before I left your studio, uh, you know, we, you know, because again, the, the fact that the anti-corruption agency and the entire judiciary seem to be in the pocket of the executive, it's a big problem. And of course, INEC. I think needs to, you know, they need to actually show that level of independence that I must quickly say, and I, I know you're a bit edgy now, I must quickly say that even the uh, action they took uh, in the registering party is a very, very shoddy action, which actually also hacks back to the fact that they are not too independent. Of course, so you must continue you to question, be involved in this uh, and say, yeah. when you look at all of what you've put together in terms of numbers, whether it's a billion or a trillion or 500 billion or 500 million, let us just cut down to the uh, to the very basic can young people really get into that situation where they can raise the fund required not too young to run can they really run 
Mm, I did an article some while ago and I said uh, how much will it cost to, to actually get a revolution going and I did the analysis of how much we have to raise. Uh, the problem is that politics is a very slippery uh, ground. Uh, many times when you come with your good intention uh, you'll be shocked the kind of perspective that some other person in your group will come up with and the allegations that begin to fly around every time there's money and potential power on the trade on the table. However, okay, I, would, I would also I'm suggest so sorry, that no matter um, the case they have to keep trying sorry to keep top trying. Yeah. Are from our presidential right. candidate we can't go beyond this we say thank you very much for joining us thank you.